After 22 years, two Olympic gold medals and multiple world and Commonwealth titles, the career of one of New Zealand's all-time sporting greats has come to an end. An emotional Dame Valerie Adams today announced she's bringing down the curtain on her professional shot put career. And for one of the great characters of Kiwi sport, it was a day to reflect on the moments and the people that helped shape a career like no other. Arriving with her young family in tow, Dame Valerie Adams had made up her mind. Saying the words out loud was another matter. Today I'm here to share with you all that I'm officially... ..hanging up these size 14 throwing shoes. Shoes that will be impossible to fill. But after fighting to win a bronze medal at last year's Tokyo Games, the 37-year-old mother of two decided her mind and body could go no further. The decision a relief to those close to her, including long-time physio Louise Johnson. She was like, good girl, you know, because at the end of the day, it's people like her who have to keep me together to perform for everybody else, and nobody sees that. The last few years have been quite hard physically and mentally and just the relief that she has given herself permission to stop hurting herself. Plus it's halved my workload. <laughs> <laughs> it was a day not only to honour a Kiwi Olympic great but for Adams herself to say thanks to those who have been part of her journey. Among them, Kirsten Hallier who took a 14-year-old Valerie Adams and helped her become an Olympic champion, setting the benchmark for other Kiwi athletes. At 20 metres 56, that's fantastic. Being able to have somebody like Val to look at and go, well, gosh, you know what, if she can do it, I can do it, and you can't be what you can't see, and that'll be one of the many legacies that she, she leaves here. Adams today looked back on the highs and lows and everything in between, including the drama of London 2012, being robbed of her winning moment by a drug cheat. How do you reflect on that with the fullness of time and now that you've finished? Yeah, do you know what, what will be will be? I think it's part of history. It was something that happened and um, it's my story and I love telling it because I like to make jokes out of it. So. <laughs> And now Adam's story is about family, who played a big part in her decision to retire, especially her son Kipalili, a type 1 diabetic. Managing diabetes is one of those things that just it doesn't stop and never ends. There's always something every day, you know, and their whole life depends on you, and you are uh, there for them wholeheartedly. She'll still be there for her Paralympic gold medal winning sister, Lisa, who she'll continue to coach. And she's also looking forward to the release of a feature-length documentary about her life. We know you're going to be a movie star. Uh, are you going to get your red carpet moment? <laughs> I don't know, I hope so. <laughs> It'd be nothing less than this champion deserves, one of the true greats of New Zealand sport.